In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up a WDS and a mesh network. WDS, which stands for Wireless Distribution System, is a system that is used to extend or expand wireless network coverage in a certain area. This can be highly beneficial for businesses and institutions that are expanding their office space and want their wireless network to be accessible throughout a larger area without using an Ethernet cable. This can also be used in schools and any enterprise that want more people to have access to their network and router. All this can be achieved using Peplink's access points from Peplink's AP series. The benefits of using Peplink's AP devices for setting up a WDS are that you can provide enterprise-grade Wi-Fi for any environment with different topologies, such as using a star or daisy chain. You can also set up customized captive portals, and finally, with InControl2, we provide you with the means for centralized management. As mentioned previously, I will also demonstrate how to set up a mesh network using devices from Peplink's AP series. A mesh network is essentially a more dynamic version of WDS. This is because instead of one access point communicating with another router or access point in a chain of devices like in a WDS, in the case of a mesh network, all the access points are communicating with routers in a star topology. This makes the network more reliable, since if one node were to fail, then the next optimal path to connect your device to the main server or router would be found instantly. With Peplink's AP models, you can achieve a highly sophisticated mesh network, as each node and device can be customized, monitored, and managed by using InControl2. This setup is also beneficial to businesses and institutions that are expanding their office space and want their wireless network to be accessible throughout a larger area. With Peplink's AP models integrated into your mesh network, you can make your network more flexible and versatile. In this demo, I'll be using two AP1AC mini devices connected to a router to achieve these network types. First, I'll explain how to configure your WDS network. To start, you need to head to your web admin page for the root AP. This is the AP that is directly connected to your router. Then click on the AP tab at the top. Now you can head to settings on the left. Here you can configure your specific AP configurations and settings to your liking. Then head to the WDS on the left. Here you can press Add to add your AP to a WDS network and select the frequency band that is suitable for your network use. Now head to the web admin page for your second AP device. Then head to the AP tab at the top and click on settings on the left. This section allows you to configure your WDS settings for the second access point. After that, head to the WDS tab on the left and add your AP to the WDS network. To monitor the status of your AP device and the network, go back to the root AP web admin page and then head to the Mesh WDS section on the left. Here you can monitor the type of network and device, the pure MAC, the protocol, the recovery rate, the signal strength, and finally the uptime duration. If you want to monitor the event log, then head to the event log on the left. Here you can observe the paths created from node to node and also the user access. The same actions can be performed on the web admin page of your second AP to monitor its status as well. Now I'll explain how to set up the mesh network. For the mesh network, it is vital that the main router is connected to the WAN port of the root AP. To start the setup, head to the web admin page for your root AP. This time you need to head to the AP tab on the top, then go to wireless mesh tab on the left. Here you can set up the wireless mesh network. To do so, you need to create a mesh ID, select the frequency band you require, and input a shared key. After that, head to the Settings tab on the left, and for the Mesh section, select the Mesh ID that you just created. On this page, you can configure your specific AP configuration and settings to your liking. Now, head to the Web Admin page for your second AP device, and head to the AP tab at the top. Then, go to the Wireless Mesh tab on the left. Here, you can input the same Mesh ID and shared key. Now go to the Settings tab on the left. Here you can configure your mesh settings for your second access point. To monitor the status of your AP device and the network, go back to the root AP web admin page, and then head to the Mesh WDS section on the left. Here you can monitor the type of network and device, the pure MAC, the protocol, the recovery rate, 
the signal strength and finally the uptime duration. If you want to try monitor the event log, then head to the event log on the left. Here, you can observe the paths created from node to node and also the user access. The same actions can be performed on the web admin page of your second AP to monitor its status as well. You can also use DHCP to prove that your PC is connected via WDS. To do this, open up the command prompt on your client PC. Here, you should type ipconfig all. This prompt should show you that your PC has a DHCP IP.